Hello and welcome everyone. My name is My name is Terlord. Yuri, also known as Terlord. And today I will be playing League of Legends rank game series. Now in our past streams we've played our promotion games. We have managed to get uh, towards uh, Platinum 4. Now we are sitting in our promotions for uh, Plat uh, 3. Uh, twice we failed to beat them, unfortunately. But uh, let's not discourage ourselves. Because things like this happen. Losses happen, wins happen, so it doesn't really uh, matter that much. What matters is what you will learn from the game. And uh, my uh, job as a streamer, um, the role that I am taking here, is not just a player who plays the game. Well, I do play the game and uh, trying to have fun. But I've decided to make my streams educational so that uh, new players that are coming into this game they want to see well how do I play a certain role how do I play with this champ against this champ what this does what that does uh, and uh, so on and for the most part I will be uh, trying uh, to give you general tips on what you should be focusing on during what stages of the game uh, on uh, champions that I am going to be playing I uh, am going uh, to be uh, showing uh, you the gameplay from my perspective uh, from my point of view so that uh, you will either agree or disagree you decide to you whether you will use my advices or whether you will not and so on and so forth so it's totally okay if you're not going to agree but uh, it would be really good uh, if you would at least uh, find uh, the content I provide to be helpful and fun. Because uh, playing games, uh, it should be uh, something that uh, brings you fun. Because if it does not, what's the point of uh, playing it then? So, a little bit of a long uh, intro. That is why we are going to jump straight into our first rank game of today. Rank solo duo. With primary top, secondary mid. Now, once again, I'm going to repeat myself. That our purpose is to not just grind ranks. Our purpose is to learn and improve. Ranks will come. Uh, it's a slow and steady process. First you learn the game, uh, then you get uh, profit. And not uh, vice versa. It, it doesn't work the other way. You uh, To earn something, you need to basically do something to earn it. So, it's also good that we are not starting from way too low of a rank or way too high of a rank, somewhere in the middle. That's way we can actually see how uh, players on different uh, ranks are playing and uh, what you should expect.
So as we are waiting for the match, I'm going uh, to tell you a little bit about uh, myself. Once again, my name is Yuri, also known as Terlord. I've been playing uh, League for pretty much 10 years, with the exceptions of the fact, uh, of the fact that I missed Season 7. That's probably the only season that I've missed. Now, in that time I've played uh, a lot of different champs on a lot of different roles. And for the past, well, for the past couple of years, I'm mostly sitting and playing uh, top lane. Because uh, top lane is my go-to role, even though nowadays it's not that... Uh, it doesn't have that much of a carry role potential, but I still like it. And uh, because I have so much... Oh because I've played so much in this game. I want to just show you, like, uh, show you my experience and uh, show you also my mistakes, losses, minuses that I have, because I'm gonna uh, say straight that I'm not really good at uh, CSing. And uh, that's... Um, a kind of unfortunate thing that I personally want to change. Uh, now, another kind of sort of minus of mine is that uh, I tend to make some mistakes uh, during playing phase, especially. Uh, that is why you can see like if I'm going to make a mistake, I'm going to emphasize on what I did wrong, and uh, you'll see what you should have done there, and what you shouldn't have done there, and the outcome of the situation uh, overall. So, about runes that we are using, I want to see like against what top laner I'm up against. Uh, second tree should always be like Inspiration. Uh, boots and I don't know who is their top laner. Biscuits and here attack speed. All right, let's do overheal. Let's do bloodline and let's do last stand. Yeah. And in terms of summoners, flash, teleport. All right. Yes, I can see messages. Let me pop my chat here real, real quick. I hope you will have a good time. Hopefully something new can be learned from your streams. How much it takes now to level up fresh account to the point where you can play ranked games. Uh, generally, I don't believe that there are XP boosts anymore. I might be wrong. Uh, but uh, generally, it just depends on how much per day do you play. It can take from a week to several weeks and so on. I haven't played on a fresh account for eternity, basically. So, a general start would be start with Dorn Blade. And I'm facing Soraka top. Uh, Soraka top means poke. So a bit safer approach would be to go Doran shield. As you can see it restores your health. 
every five seconds. Um, basic attacks deals bonus physical damage uh, to minions when you hit them. And you regenerate over 40 health over 8 seconds after taking damage from a champion. So usually uh, you pick... Usually you pick Doran Shield over Doran Blade in case where when your lane lane is going to be played uh, from a more of a defensive perspective or you will be poked a lot in this case i'm playing against range top which means that i am going to be poked a lot i don't know how all this uh, lane gonna go because I haven't played against uh, Soraka top. I seriously hadn't. Now, don't miss CS, and if you have an opportunity, just go like this. So, as you can see, we poked her a bit. We missed. Oh boy. And that's a lot of damage. And she keeps continue to poke me. Which is kinda unfortunate. Her summon airy works in her favor. Summon area basically every time you auto attack, a little spirit flies in your direction. And it, it hits you. And then it goes back uh, towards uh, uh, towards the caster that casted it. Now, Wave is pushing slowly. I really want that cannon. But I also get bombarded by bananas. I might flash here. Wow. So unfortunate. Getting killed by a Soraka. God, this finally. Wow, wow. I really did not think that she is going to do so much damage. I guess you cannot treat supports lightly. We are probably going to go back here. Because I don't want to give her a free kill. And we are going to work towards Tiamat and Phage. Now I missed a lot of CS, but I still was capable of uh, maintaining CS lead. But she pokes uh, really hard. 
like I I don't know I didn't expect get hit by so much damage. But yeah, in general, what I'm leveling here, I'm leveling E, just because it gives like I'm gonna ping that she's level six, which means she can cast her R. But yeah, generally, level up your E into a range matchup into a matchup where you need mobility more than you were hit by one and half wave of creeps when you fought or keep that in mind yeah uh, generally you do not want to uh, fight uh, in creep waves no matter the champ that you are playing because early game creeps damage is uh, quite big and, the, and seeing that they have like uh, here you can see they have like Soraka which obviously is going to build uh, for a, a tanky support and they have Olaf. Uh, your team will probably need uh, something to cut healing with. Now there are a couple of items such as um, such as armor. I forgot forgot its name. Let me check it. But you have either executioner. The builds from a longsword, or if you are going uh, tanky, there is an item. There it is, a Bramble West. It cuts healing basically. It cuts uh, healing, not by a lot, but it's it's definitely mandatory. Because they will gonna heal a lot. Alright, we are back into the lane, still with um, creep advan uh, creep score advantage. And this Soraka is um, building tanky, but now we can actually. We can actually kill her, because our mid lane is roaming. Yeah, it's, it's good to donate kills to a champion like Akali, rather than have them on uh, Camille. Because uh, the way things are, Camille is a bit... Uh, well, a bit... Uh, quite weak in terms of uh, carrying uh, basically those 1v9s and also you have to keep in mind that when a champion rotates from mid or what if rotation is basically happening um, you have to at least give some uh, profit to the person uh, who And I'm going to go away. Olaf blown his uh, ulti, which is quite good. And we took a dragon because he was top. That's a good trade because dragons are important in this game. Like, see, we got hell, uh, heal for 2.5% of our missing health for every five seconds. And basically, this is the price of a fail gank uh, from Olaf. He didn't get a kill and lost uh, a dragon uh, that would potentially give his team uh, a bit of an advantage. I'm going to TP top. Just because I do not want to lose plates. Plates is basically a free goal. Now, thankfully, I went through the process of um, early laning phase where 
I got poked quite hard by this champ. Now I want to break her shield. I don't want to force like a fight just yet. See, her silence blocks me from casting my Qs. I have to cast first Q preemptively, because if I don't, I will get silence. And I cannot uh, cast a second Q because I'm silenced. That's so unfortunate. But once again, keeping that in mind is always good. Uh, she went back, used TP. She got uh, Road of Ages. Which gives her mana, healing, ability power, as well as stacking stats. Stacking HP and basically everything stacks. Now, that wasn't the greatest ulti, but whatever. Now I'm doing quite a good damage to her. And if she will not gonna hit me... What's your fourth item in inventory? That's uh, boots that I got from... Uh, inspiration tree. Let me show you real quick. There they are. Magical footwear. You get slightly magical... slightly increased magical boots at minute 12 and uh, whenever you get a kill I believe uh, you get them earlier they give you more movement speed than regular tier 1 boots and they are free basically economic of uh, gold she heals a lot by the way Now I want my Sheen, basically. I really want it. See, I cannot... I cannot recast my... Yeah, I should stop doing such trades. And she gets movement speed. Yeah, I'm going back. Because I'm low. I don't want to get killed by Soraka. And now we are... Uh, down in CS. Not the greatest thing. She probably will going to go back. Yep, she did. Generally, rushing Triforce on Camille. Well, how rush? You will buy Tiamat most of the time, first item, and then you will go straight towards your Trinity Force. We lost the first tower, which is uh, really unfortunate. First tower gives bonus gold and opens up a way for enemy team to rotate. And now we also have to keep in mind that they have a uh, fat AD carry uh, with whom we can't really deal with. This is quite unfortunate. Just as unfortunate as uh, why he is our support top. I think we can dive. And because we dived her, we can take this tower. We got the second dragon, by the way. Potion. 
So we got a tower, and we got a kill. Well, we didn't get a kill. We gave a kill towards our uh, karma. Now I want this red buff. It's risky. They might have wars here, but... Sometimes uh, risk equals rewards. Yeah. Okay, we need to back away because Soraka is here. So Soraka has a movement speed boost towards wounded tar targets. Which is also a thing that you have to keep in mind. Now we really... okay. We got his ulti. And that's quite good because generally an Olaf without an ult is not that scary. Well, you can control him at least. Uh, now we have a gold to get ourselves our Trinity Force, which is a power spike on Camille. And we are at the face of a mid game. And yes, another tip. If you want to know, like, minion wave position on the map, uh, you can see your waves moving from the base, like here, here, here. And you can basically look at the map from this perspective and see where the enemy's uh, minion waves are right now. Uh, generally a good uh, time for you to back, if you want to back from a uh, lane, to go buy something or to regen, is to wait uh, till the cannon, uh, cannon wave. Because uh, cannon wave is uh, tougher to kill, and that's your golden kind of opportunity when you can go towards uh, buying items, uh, regeneration, and also, yeah, I think I missed like five cannons this game. Such an unfortunate performance. And cannons are worth a lot of gold, so yeah. Is there something that can boost your offense or defense against... ...against uh, boots? Those boots are basically your... ...boots that you buy uh, for 300. Those boots, uh, those uh, boots uh, do not give you. Um, they just give you movement speed. They do not give you extra defense or offense. As you can see, movement speed. And no, they are not mm, like uh, mandatory. They are just. Sometimes you buy them, sometimes you don't. I mean, sometimes you decide to go with Inspiration Tree, and sometimes you don't. Okay, let's take Grumps. Okay, we are overextending here a bit, I don't know why. Yes, you can 
take like you don't want boots you can take uh, mastery that gives you 5% CDR on everything on uh, active items okay she wasted her R Let me kill this all of real quick. Okay. Actually, we are doing quite good this game. Outside of the fact that we are poorly farming. Alrighty, let's go back. Yeah, it is winnable. Uh, so, when... Let's take this moment to, for me to explain. When and why am I picking, for example, like this boots and this item. So, when you decide to buy defense boots, you have two options. Merc Trats, which is against AP and crowd control. Ninja Tabby, which is against auto attackers and heavy AD. You genuinely look at the lane you fight against. You look at the amount of crowd control that they have. And you just decide from there. For here they have Hydra is useless on Camille. No, you buy it, but uh, you buy it like second item after... No, not second item. Basically, third item... After you finish your Sterex gauge. You still buy it, but not as a first item. Uh, but yeah, I was speaking about boots. So... As you can see, she has slow, she has silence, She uh, he has slow, she has stun, uh, Blitz has silence, Blitz has uh, knock up, and he has a hook. So, and in terms of auto attackers, auto attacker and auto attacker. More crowd control, less auto attacks uh, from AD champs. Uh, this is why we are going uh, Merc Threats. We do not need to... Like, we always need to value... So as you can see, we managed to kill Syndra, and I believe Sorak either didn't have ult, or she didn't, you didn't use it for some reason. In any way, it actually helped us. Our team is unfortunately not going to finish stuff, but instead they will go and chase kills. Which is so... It's, it's unnecessary, guys. Uh, a tip. It doesn't matter, well, certainly kinda does, but uh, for the most part, what matters is whether you will get a victory screen or a defeat screen. You might have this same amount of stats and you still might get like a defeat screen. And you might actually just give them like so much opportunities to just come back into the game, which is completely unnecessary by the way. I'm going to dispatch of this of this enemy mid laner. 
Now also you you can you can use uh, Camille Salty to jump over CC, but you have to you have to be precise in timings. Okay, we are going to take Fort Drake. And I haven't managed to talk about it, but... Uh, let's... Uh, I say that uh, Drakes are important, right? Right. Wanna know why they are important? Look. 2.5 healing. 10% ultimate cooldown. 6% armor and magic resist. Another 6% armor and magic resist. That's four drakes. And now a fifth drake that we got. We have a shield for every time that we avoid damage for five seconds. Look at the shield you get that stacks with AP, with AD, with HP, and has a base stat. A base stat amount. And now after we secure that drake, the next drake is actually can be called a game over for the enemy team Drake, because uh, the last Drake is super powerful. It has execute when and the enemy target is on 20, less than 20% HP. It has also damage boost, I believe. I believe, yeah, he has. As you can see, as they are fighting, I just go for go for the end. I'm not interested in KDA by any way. Okay, a first win in our promotions, by the way. A GG well played. And let's give an honor to Kha'Zix. Wait, what kind of a rank reward? Hmm. Oh yeah, also like uh, today they have this issues, as you can see. You have been disconnected from chat, attempting to reconnect, and they say we are aware of problems that chat, that causing uh, players to be disconnected from chat and working on fixing it. And problems in missions, yeah, it, it, it's a typical league day, so yeah. Let's uh, read, what if one team Cannot get Elder and only got four of them. Enemy team can win by picking Elder Drake. Yes, they can pick Elder Drake. So you have to pay extreme attention to that. And once a team gets four dragon in a row, like we did, um, the fifth dragon will always going to be in the Elder Drake. So yeah, let's jump into another match. Let's win those promos today. Alrighty, we again gonna go top. Because why not? Why wouldn't we? If it works from time to time. Yeah, this connecting to chat is going to be disturbing a bit. But there's nothing you can do until they fix it. Now I seriously need a one game on Camille where I can be farming. Just just farming. Promos are working same as before. Uh, yes, best of three until you go to 
promos from one division, not division from, say, first plat to fourth diamond. You have to win three games. And everywhere else, you have to win two games. Nothing changed there. Yay, we are in top lane again. We probably are going to pick an, an, another Camille match. I also haven't, like, touched on the subject of why I ban Fiora. Uh, mostly because she's quite strong. Um, I have not that good experience against that pick. And when you do not have a really great time against something, you ban it. But unfortunately, there is only one ban that you can use from your side. And chances are you're still going... No, set is banned. Uh, chances are you will still going to face something that you would not want... Oh. Oh, it's a... Hmm. I think it's a notch. Wow. Wow. Nunu is trolling. Okay. And also... Yeah, it's a Jax matchup into Jax, picking Camille is uh, not good. Nope, not good at all. Which means we are going to pick Garen. We are going to be Garen. Yeah, this uh, this is a troll pick from the Nuna side. A very, a very, very unfortunate. This we can go with this, and let's hope that someone will actually going to dodge. Yes, and let's do this and wait just a little bit because chances are that if you're going to immediately press find another match, uh, you might get the same person who was trolling again in your team. This is why waiting a little bit is going to be beneficial. All right. Wait just a little bit more. And we press again. Why not Darius against Jax? Uh, Darius can win against Jax. It's just that you have to time your grabs. Well, basically, can do it this way that you can hook Jax while he is in his uh, E animation. It it brings him towards you and then it bounces him off of you. It bounces him off of you to a certain distance where he can no longer stun you. Mm. 
but he is quite strong in all-in still. And we are waiting for a match, and here we are. I just hope that no unfortunate things are going to happen this time. Yes, but the problem is that uh, uh, Jax can use his Counter Strike to avoid your W and auto attacks, so leaving you with no reliable sources of stacking your passive. Because with Garen you can just press E and even if he uses his counter strike it uh, it will not gonna stop your E damage. With Darius it will stop your auto attacks. Alright, so we are again in the top lane. And once again, we are going to ban Fiora. Oh, yeah, almost first pick top. Uh, generally, I believe that first picking top in either mid is a huge issue. It opens such a, such a vast amount of counter pick potential. And you do not know like what uh, team composition will they have. Yeah, this is Let's pick something like Malphite. Rock solid. And let's see what will they pick. It will be a good thing if we were gonna have a Diana, because Diana damage right now is uh, on the strong side. And with synergy of with my old, it opens up possibilities for one shots, especially in this case scenario, they have squishy targets with no reliable escape mechanisms. They have set now because they have set. They will most likely going to pick him. I'm just gonna go Comet with Mana Flow. Mana Flow. Um, let's do Absolute Focus and Scorch. And in here, let's once again go for the Inspiration. Cosmic Insight and more AP. Oh, it's actually not Cosmic Insight. Yeah, this. This is good. I was thinking about uh, picking Depth uh, Market. So let let me see. It's a Twitch mid. It's an echo jungle. Set top. 
and Lux Caitlyn bot. They have quite a lot of targets that are basically malfitable. Let's get ourselves a corrupting pot. Now, with Set, I have played against him with Camille. I didn't have a good time, but the thing that I will going to basically do the same kind of strategy that I do against Darius with Malphite, which means I'm going to just poke him with uh, Qs. And since he have he has grasp, he's you can see. Um, let me tell you things about uh, like set. Yeah, he does true damage, and he he does true damage, and he has not a really good all in. But the thing that I need to keep in mind, though, is I'm not going to be stacking a lot of HP. Because Set is good uh, against uh, champs with uh, a lot of HP. Oh boy, this, <laughs> this skin on... Uh, unlike... Art, it looks good, but now it looks like a mecha chicken running around. Like, what is this? Sometimes skins are done in a good way. Okay. I'm going away. Because what he did, he used his, I believe, I don't know what it's called. But... Yeah... He is definitely wanting to fight me. My damage early is not that great. But I need time and levels to pump my Q. And I know that like his... So as you can see, he has no, no reliable... But he zooms me off CS, which is not something good. Once again. And you know, so he is kind of reliant on auto attacks, which means hitting him with my... my Q's, not Q's, with my E's. It's actually a really good thing. Now I missed a bit of CS because I didn't level up my W. Yeah, I mean, he does damage, but soon I'm going to base anyway. To get uh, basically my items. And also another thing to remember, like Set has shields, but he doesn't have an ability to regen. Now also a thing to kind of keep in mind, let me take this cannon real quick. Let me hold it real quick.
Let me try to get the CS here. I'm gonna miss a bunch. Yeah, I'm gonna miss all of them pretty much. Yep. But I'm on the amounts of CS that I missed, and I'm only down like three. That just means is not having a great time there. And my glacial shroud. You can either go like uh, tank malfight or full AP yellow one shot malfight, where you build basically full AP and rely on your combos. Either way, I'm going to be capable of basically poke him up to the point where and I believe I do not believe that he can actually yeah he's building phage phage into black cleaver and next item would be uh, sterex gauge yeah I don't need to like force fights against him, just gonna poke him. Yes, he does damage. Once again, what champion league doesn't do damage? Also, your... Yeah, Malphite can play in mid, though not against all picks. So as you can see, he wants to pick Grasp, but uh, the thing is, with me uh, playing on the defensive side, he cannot stack it, uh, he can, uh, thus he's losing like... So as, you, as you can see, like he, he really wants to just hook me in and force a one versus one fight, but uh, he cannot. I really think that either they will buff him or we do not know like something about this champ. Once again, I'm missing every single cannon. Like this is so bad. You have to pay attention. Like cannon gives a lot of gold. So as you can see, he does in pokes. He doesn't win trades because my Qs are low cooldown. And I can spam, and he cannot. And to get his shield, he has to cast Q. Now, I was tempting uh, to go in there. I'm losing HP, by the way, this is not good. Yeah, this was a bad engage on my side. He still has his ulti. I have to be really, really cautious. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. With uh, Shaco incoming, we can kill him. I think he wants to cast ult. Yeah, he really does. Yeah, my bad. My bad. I could have played it way better than that. Let's do this. Yeah, I should have backed. Uh, first of all, I shouldn't have, like, toy with him this. And I want to get my boots also. I believe I ate three tower shots. So do not do, not do this at home, basically. We want to play safe. I believe I will go, like... 
Iceborne Gauntlet and then I'm going to go towards a bit of HP. Maybe Sunfire. It's a good thing that we play as Malphite into those double AD carry thing. It's just they we have to play it smart when it, when the time goes to team fights. Finally got a cannon. He he got his Merc Threats. That's a good item. But once again, I'm not building like full AP. Yeah, they wanted a gank. Let me put a ward here. Echo might, he might uh, return with yet another gank. So yeah, even with Mark Threats, I mean, he is getting hit. Yeah, and I should have waited on his on his shield and then press Q. Because his full sh uh, his shield is kind of annoying. It's like uh, almost 50% uh, HP shield. By the way, there were there was a bug where I saw echoes. Okay, he didn't back away. Good. I'm not concerned about like hitting tower because first tower is probably going to be bot one. Yeah, he wants. Yeah, we might just use this opportunity to just... Yeah, it's general bugs that happen in League of Legends. Okay, Twitch is here, let's not overextend. Let's push this. I do not want to jump on him, and he will use TP. Which means we are going to go back, we are going to buy ourselves a Frozen Mallet. And we are going to buy ourselves a Ruby Crystal. Yeah, we lost a dragon. That's unfortunate. And I do not want to TP there, by the way. Here they might actually kill him. Or no. Yeah, they did, but we lost first tower. Enemy bot is probably going towards either mid now or top. And that's quite fat bots. And I cannot push this wave in fast. No, I can push wave, I cannot push tower in fast enough. Or maybe I can. No, I can. I'm going to take this tower and I'm gonna back away. And the reason why I'm backing here is to buy Bemi Cinder. Now I am a bit, a slightly tanky malphite. Not against those two, though. 
so I have to keep it in mind. I still have a TP for a potential team fight. Set is missing. He probably is going to go towards mid. And I'm going to use this opportunity to farm up. I'm already above him in terms of CS. Yeah, he cannot really land his stuff on me. He was trying to flank me. But now I am going towards mid. And as you can see, like... Yeah, I died, but um, that was quite good, because it's like 2-4-4. Four, four. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, two auto attacks, three auto attacks, uh, CC, well, kinda. No, I want Ninja Tabby. I want to completely... Avoid. Um, how how should I say it? I want to completely avoid the fact that I will be beaten just by auto attacks of enemy champs. Now you you will see a giant shield now. Yeah, and this is not really good. I might have to rotate mid. Yep. I definitely have. They are overextending to kill a 1 2 top laner. This is not good. But okay, our thought process. Thought process, not thought process. I lost such a big, such a huge wave top. But uh, basically, our general thing we are be building is going to be right now Sunfire into probably Randians to completely destroy enemy auto attackers because as soon as I pop like Randians and my E uh, neither Twitch or Kate will be able to do anything and it it's just going to be Echo and uh, rest of the squadron Echo is fat but still manageable to beat. Not by me, though. I have no MR. I am going towards... towards Scuttler. And we are probably going to have a 5-on-5 five five team fight. Yeah, let me save this MF. Oh, actually, let me save. What am I going to save now? Everyone is doing great, despite the fact that they're fat. Oh well. Good thing that I used my ulti. I would stunned Echo there. So he wasn't able to do anything. I might delay us on fire for Your team has destroyed a turret. Um hmm. I want a bit of MR. But MR items are bad. Yeah. I probably am going to go bot lane. I still have TP, which means I can split push. And now I'm starting to get bigger in terms of HP. Which is going to be the reason for me to avoid getting ulted by set. 
because uh, it's not me that will going to suffer from his ult, but if he will land it on... MR items uh, cannot uh, sort of... how should I say it? Oh, hello Twitch! Okay. I saw that something fishy was going around, like... Like, there, there is no way, like... Turns out, it was fishy. He was trying to recall in that bush. <laughs> Alright. MR items cannot mitigate uh, the amount of damage AP champs will do to you. Like, no, even if you will, like... Let's say I buy... Let's say I buy Spirit Visage, and the enemy AP champ has a Void Staff. It will give me 55 MR and Void Staff. Let me let me find it real quick. It gives 40% penetration, which means it gives me not 40 MR, but... But it actually gives me... 10 MR. Not 10 MR, but yeah, basically gives me less. Yeah, we are slowly but surely winning this. And I can tank tower because I'm quite tanky. And I also do damage. Yeah. But, oh boy. No, 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 no. I have to. I have to run away, but I cannot. I was trying to walk like to the sides where my teammates uh, were not grouping. Because Set, set would just grab me and. Jump right in the middle of uh, three squishy targets. And just to be safe. Also, like... I like to see Crit MF back into the game. Like, I absolutely hated the lethality build MF that revolved around... I'm gonna sit in bush and I'm gonna try to catch someone with my whole like EQ, ulti and that's all has to be done from the bush and you do no damage with auto attacks. And nowadays she does damage with Q, she does damage with ult and auto attacks. Oh boy, I have to help this team. This poor Echo cannot even cast his ulti. Oh boy, my ults today with Malphite are insane. Wow. Wow. I just completely and utterly devastate enemy team for picking so many AD carries. And it's also a good thing that I can show you that Malphite is actually quite a decent pick. Not in every matchup, but as you can see if they're like having AD carries and stuff, then it's actually quite good. Now that we finish Adaptive Helm, let's look what uh, it gives. Uh, not to us, but let's look at the passive. Taking magic damage from a spell or effect reduces all subsequent uh, magic damage from the same spell or effect by 20% for 4 seconds. So it's better than, let's say, Spirit Visage, because I have no healing on Malphite, and increase all healing will be quite useless. 
So no amount of MR can mitigate AP damage or even not on full build. Um, basically, oh, sort of. Uh, in late game team fights, uh, mages can do insane damage to tanks this nowadays. Even tanks are not as safe as it looks like. Now we are going to buy Randy and Summon. Just for the purpose of basically making enemy AD carries even more useless. Yeah, Twitch casts his ulti. Now he is out of his ult. I have my ult. Now the thing that I have to be aware of is how am I going to engage this. Ideally I have to jump on enemy Caitlyn, Twitch or Lux. Ideally actually Lux, no not Lux, Caitlyn basically. But instead let's take this tower down. And I failed the engage. Oh, actually, said did no damage there. Okay. Well, they guess I guess they will really buff his damage up to the point where he is going to be even stronger. I really shouldn't have done it, but yeah, we are probably. Yeah, we are closing this game. GG. I assume it's GG. I hope. Yeah. It's GG. And we are now... Plat 3. We are Plat 3, yeah? That's on her... That's on her, Diana. Plat 2, we skipped a division. Hip hip hooray! We skipped a whole division. And that's great. Absolutely great. And as you can see... Uh, in terms of... Let's find Set. Yeah, Set was down like 3000 gold on me. With same... Rip score. Yeah. Uh, let us jump into the next game then. And while we are searching for a match, let me say hi and welcome to everyone that just tuned in or are watching the stream from the beginning. My name is uh, Yuri, also known as Terlord. I'm streaming League of Legends for Xander Yevet's channel. Um, currently we are at uh, Platinum 3, but our most important thing is not the ELO we are in, but rather the uh, tips and tricks and fun that we provide towards newcomers to League of Legends. Oh, well, maybe... Yeah, Plat 2. We are Plat 2. We skipped an entire division by promoting from Plat 4. So... In general, the idea behind those kinds of streams is to educate newcomers who have come to play League of Legends. They have heard about it, especially in our days uh, when Riot was celebrating their 10 years anniversary and there are a whole lot of new games that Riot Games are preparing, including League Mobile and League for PlayStation. Not only PlayStation, PlayStation, Xbox. Um, 
basically for this content is for players who either just like install the game and they want to know what the game is about like how does it look like uh, who can provide general kind of information on how to do this and that on champ A against champ B and just in general what tips and tricks can a streamer provide uh, like I'm trying to do this I'm trying. You can also see me failing to do something, which is also a great thing because when you fail and you see the mistake, you can immediately see, oh, well, this this guy did that wrong. I should not do that. I shouldn't have do that. I should have done this, this thing, this way, this thing, this way, and you will see outcome and you will see whether or not uh, I can manage to get from get out from a sticky situation. See, it's basically that. It's it's simple. It's not something over complex like Omega combos. Like how to do 200 farms per 20 minutes or something like that. No, it's not something that you need to be concerned if you are a beginner in this game. Like, absolutely not. We see a Tristana. Let's pick Malphite again. Why not? We had a great game last game with Malphite. Let's pick him again. So yeah, it's more oriented towards beginner-friendly type of deal. And once again, I have to repeat, I'm not positioning myself as someone like as a pro player or something or a super high elo. It's just your regular player but who has quite a big amount of experience who just wants to share his thoughts and the way he sees the perspective whether you agree or disagree with my style is totally okay it's up to you it's not like i say well you only do this only do that and if you do if you do this thing wrong shame on you well, in terms of CS, you can do it differently. Uh, here I'm gonna go grasp with conditioning and with overgrowth. And here I'm going to go with mana flow band and scorch. And like this. Yep. Simply because I'm fighting against, uh, I'm fighting against Maokai. Yeah, generally tanks against tanks. If it's not worn, yeah, it's a farm fest. We're both going to be. Stacking our grasp and hitting each other with auto attacks. Though I have to be aware of two things. Maokai heals quite good. Especially like in a tank versus tank you. Will we try an Orn eventually? Somewhere in the future, I might try. But yeah, since release, I haven't played this champ. I don't know what he levels up. I don't know what he's doing. I only know that he is quite, quite strong, especially now. A very good thing. And he provides... Uh, upgraded items for team.
he can choose basically what item to upgrade for someone. Or that someone can choose what item he can upgrade. I believe I believe it works that way. I might be wrong. So right here you can see like immediately, let's look. They have a lot of CC. Like this is unavoidable CC, he has unavoidable CC. Basically, she has avoidable CC. Well, it's going to be Merc's game, Merc Trad's game. Not only for himself, but for Team also. Uh, he cannot, I believe, he can decide to upgrade an item for someone. I believe it works that in that way. Not really sure. When I was playing, I think I was playing Lux, and I was not upgrading an item, my Ludens Echo. Um, he he upgraded it for me. Because I had the upgraded version. I bought the normal one and then upgraded. Okay. Yeah, I'm I probably will not gonna level up Q. And I do not think that I need to level up W either. It's going to be probably a W max, not E nor Q. And I'm gonna start with W to help this hacker him a bit. So as you can see, W resets uh, Malphite's auto attack, which means but when you hit a champion, you hit him with auto attack and then you press W and you hit him again. That's how auto attack resets work. And do not press ignite uh, when you are uh, in an animation of auto attack. I lost two minions. Great. Let me hit him. He doesn't want to get hit. Come on. He started with he started with ring. He has a little bit more of an advantage. I have to stop pushing. I push the lane because um, of my grass procs and my WA wing everything. But I want my grasp. Come on. Let me hit you. Yeah, like this. I'll just stack my... Oh boy. Uh, Lee Sin is probably topside now. Yeah. Yeah, there Lee Sin is. That's a flash down. I completely forgot that he started from top side and Yeah. My bad. Immediately you can see what went wrong. Yeah, we are going to TP and buy a ward. At least seems probably just went back already.
Yeah, we got his flash. We didn't manage to take a kill. Let's focus more on farming. Yeah, he got his Bemi Cinder. An item towards which I am going now. I want to push this wave. And the reason for that because I want to not be gankable. Yeah, and the wave reset. That's good. Now the reason why I go Bemi Cinder is for wave clear and HP. I have to match up with him in terms of clearing speed. And I'm probably going to leave it at Bemi Cinder and then go towards Adaptive Helm. He also went back. We are going to... F oh, no, 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 he went, actually, he is ganking mid. Which means we have to push. And now they are taking Dragon. I believe he also has TP. That's kind of unfortunate. Can we take at least one plate? Yes, we can. Maokai is still not going towards his lane. Which means... No, they swapped. Did they swap? In the case of a swap... In the case of a swap... I don't know why they swapped. But I know that I'm working for Adaptive Helm. Because if I'm up against a Kali... Or maybe I'm not up against the Kalin, they just wanted to prevent me. Whatever. Whatever it is... It's fine, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, they just swapped. Temporary swap. Yeah, um, Maoka is coming back top. Also, first item, and after that, I'm probably going to go for Mercs. My TP is up in like 1 and 30. Which means, and by the way, I still have no idea where Maokai is. Turns out he's here. This is so, so entertaining, right, Twitch chat? And that's... Yeah... My TP is not up. So it's not like I can contest it. But 
but what I can do is to just push. Oh no, they. I'm actually quite. I'm going to take pretty much. Pretty much the same HP from this tower. Also, it's a 10 minute, that's why I'm going to get my additional armor, magic resist. And also, my armor and magic resist will rise by. No, their top teleported to bot lane and got some kills. So yeah, I'm buying this and this. Now I have a teleport advantage and I have more plates. But yeah, I was talking about conditioning. You see, after 10 minutes you gain 9 armor and 9 magic resist and increase your armor and magic resist by 5%. That is basically freebies and because this lane is more about like farming. Yeah, it was pointless. Uh, and the reason why it was pointless is because uh, he can dodge uh, Malkai's charge with his... Uh, with his basically... root. I want to keep stacking my HP on this guy. Yeah. Can your resistances increase even higher from conditioning? I believe so. Those 5% can increase to towards being more than 5%. Not more than 5, but you'll actually like... Um, I'm going farming. Not interested in fighting him. But yeah, they can increase. Yeah, they're doing dragons left and right. We're not gaining, like, anything from that. I'm probably just gonna rock another demolition and then go back. Okay. Gonna be able to run away, by the way. So it's nothing. Yeah, they don't do a lot of damage. I don't want to waste my ulti there. Because I have no idea if she has flash or she's flashless. But I am going to push this up. And the reason for that is to just... Yeah, we lost the first tower. That's unfortunate. But, okay, whatever. Let's sell a ward. Get ourselves. Magic resist, even more magic resist, because like, as you can saw there, I ate like uh, three uh, three cues from Akali. I ate, uh, I believe, what also I ate, or three auto attacks, improved auto attacks, and 
<laughs> it didn't do a lot. Unfortunately, I'm not building like magic resist, not magic resist, but uh, mana. Can we take this tower? I believe we can, yeah. Maokai is in the mid and he died. have to do something about about this I'm going I'm going I'm going to help we can shut down them Yeah, I have to buy my adaptive. Oh, we have to help him. Tristana is incoming. I need to go back. I have almost 2k gold. <laughs> I have to buy this thing next. Mm. Our AD carry has to farm, but we need to contest this Drake. I have R and 30, but their whole team is probably there. Yeah, there is a lease in there. I'm gonna stop this dragon. No, we do not need to fight. Come on. Just don't fight. Let it reset. Why would you? All right, well, I guess. Yeah, this, this was such a, like, it, it was a bad team fight. I wasn't able to... E, Tristana. I was, I ulted her, but I didn't hit E. I believe I hit her with ult, but um, I didn't hit E. And no one went uh, as a follow-up. Hecarim tried, but he was way too far. I have to farm. And, and Tristana was also like hitting me hard because uh, this 100 armor, like. 250 armor is nothing to her for some reason. 
you have to be aware that nowadays, like, something happened. That it's like AD carries are not uh, buying uh, arm pen, but they shred tanks really hard. Yeah. Yeah, this is unfortunate, but okay, guess we are going to the next game. Can someone please do at least one auto attack to Herald? Well, I guess not. We just gave them two towers, an inhip, and a bunch of kills. And they will chase Maokai now. I just have to go and helm them. Finally. We need to get... This is... okay. Yeah. Yeah, we are basically going to forfeit this. Unfortunately for me, it's like uh, not much I can do as a tank in this situation. But oh well. Uh, a bunch of wins and uh, a couple of losses are going to basically follow you. On to the next one. Once again with top. Okay. I'm going to take a moment here to relax a bit. Always have you have to keep in mind that League of Legends is a, a tense back game. So having those chill opportunities where you can basically relax and calm yourself is uh, well, they are quite important. That's what I want to say. Being over, uh, over tensed. 
I say it's something about how you could have improved your strategy from previous game. Um, uh, first of all, I should have avoided um, avoided leaking. Yeah, it was kind of obvious. I didn't pay attention uh, towards the fact that he started bottom lane and went straight to uh, towards top. Yeah, this game. Hmm. Let me pick Darius now. They will regret opposing me. I should have avoided ganks. Uh, should have more fo more focused on more focus on arm because here's the thing that happened with gank. Like I um, didn't avoid it. I died. I teleported, leaving Maokai with a teleport advantage, which was. Kind of great thing for him. Also, I should have hit uh, uh, Tristano with that E. Me not hitting her with that uh, E after my ult was the reason why she could just auto attack. Like the general build pathing was kind of good because I at first prioritized Akali and their team crowd control ability. But completely avoided the fact that we would have to deal with a um, fat auto attack uh, AD carry. It was after the dragon fight that I started to accumulate more armor. Well, mistakes happen. It's whether or not you will learn from them that matters. So up against set. Up against set. Wait just a second. Now it should be better. No. Oh, okay, this this one. This one. Yep. Excuse me for that. So we are as a Darius against Set. I think I'm gonna go with Cleaver and not try Force. No, I could have gone try Force, but I went with Bloodline. Oh, well, we'll see. Like, I, either one that I will choose is actually... Don't know. They will not gonna have a lot of armor. Okay, then. Once again, it's a... Robo-chicken. I gave some sort of icon for those people who played this game from season one. No, I believe no. I keep forgetting I should be doing this. Because it's a set. Now I have my level two, and he has his soul, so he probably is 
started with Hey, it's an early gank. Wow. That was a fast gank, by the way, for me. Bum rushed level 3 and ganked me. Okay. I think he's sitting top. That's uh, that's why I don't uh, really play Darius top. Hmm. Okay, we are playing from behind, I suppose. Fine, fine. It's not the end of the world. Not the first time, nor the last time this happened. Yeah, we are going to do this. It's unfortunately that E is getting fat, because it's a champ that if he uh, going to get rolling. And I gave him like two early kills. He's going to do a lot. I expect to see E once again top. Okay, he has Phage already. He has an advantage in items. Okay, we got the enemy E. I might just have to push this wave in. No, I'm running away. If there is a plant, I can stay. No, the plant is, plant is not here. Plant is here. With a plant. Uh, he'll probably going to try and set up a freeze. I want to bait him into a lease. Wow. Yeah. This is really unfortunate. An enemy has been slain. Our jungler just rage quitted there. Yeah, the thing about said that I think uh, they have to nerf. 
they can buff his damage, but uh, lower this uh, shield. Because the shield value that goes like to almost 50% of your HP uh, should be addressed. Just my opinion. Because he doesn't even need to hit the center of his uh, Q in order to proc it. It just appears regardless. Whatever. Let's focus on what we are doing and we are currently trying to farm. So he went Tiamat. Huh? And that's a new one. Should we had said item uh, same items? Uh, I could have tried to fight him there, but no, not today. Okay, so my next item will be, of course, Phage. I bought Tabby because triple AD, AD auto attackers. Okay, Master Yi is top. least like that I believe at least like that <laughs> okay but I probably will going to lose tower this he will going to place Harold there yeah he is yeah he placed Harold bit of a silence there because I have no idea neither what I'm doing nor what this he is doing. means Triforce is not possible here. We are going straight towards Cleaver then. Even though they have
Even though they have like no tanks, none of them will pretty much stack armor whatsoever. It's either I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna be sitting on parts of Tiamat, not Tiamat, parts of Triforce for the rest of the game. have to take this tower or at least try to he uh, the problem with said that I have like yeah his damage is not super good but the fact that he can accumulate his gigantic shield in a span of basically seconds that you will have to be forced to deal with it it's kind of annoying okay we got our cleaver going towards our next item which should be asterix As usual on Darius, you max Q first, E second for armor penetration and cooldown on your hook. And as you can see, our Tarek just inted there and killed his Ash. Yeah. Alright. I should have just went top and just farm. So I probably have to buy a red trinket here. This moment on, our only way to win this is to properly CC uh, Master Yi. Without uh, proper crowd control it's pretty much impossible. We secure. We secure the dragon, and we didn't manage to kill E. And I ulted the wrong person. Kind of unfortunate, because I really would have liked to just shut down E. Yeah, it's still a good thing, like, we... With a loss of few, we gain... Steadily gain advantage. The next dragon will be... Again Cloud Drake. Again Ultimate Cooldown Reduction. I 
set is going to be split pushing, and that's why I'm... going to just have to con contest it. No, set had TP. Finally, I'm back in the game. Thank God. The standard E player who, no matter what the outcome, just bum rushes into situations like this. By the way, I, I don't know, like, a 2-6 AD carry shouldn't have done that much damage to Ash. I'm just saying. But yeah, we got our Sterex. And our next item probably going to be something on the defense. Something from the defense side. He is going to go for a split push. Yeah, I am going towards stopping him. His general tactic would be to just split push. I probably need my dead man's here to be mobile. Yeah, and even if he is fat. So as you can see, like, you can still kill Master Yi. You just have to cooperate your actions. They're all gonna force a team fight here. Which only works in our favor. Okay, let me buy this. I'm gonna stop set. I also don't need to forget that we have dragon spawning. Okay. I'm gonna chase him. But instead I'm going to go here. We need a uh, drake. Really neat. They got number advantage also. Yeah, and they are... Now we need to back away and just... Uh, heal. Wait for our Ash to spawn. We can start a fight when we will have everyone basically here. And if they engage, we can... Why? No, no, no. Take Dragon, take Dragon. Why didn't we... <sighs> okay, okay, okay.
This is the moment where they might rush Baron, yep. Yeah, we stole drag, we stole Baron. Wow. Wow. It's actually good. That's actually really good. Stall Baron. And we can now force, you know, force mid, but our AD carry is not here. Well... Okay, okay, that's really good. A little bit of a pause there, basically. Yeah, we are going to finish it. So no matter that the enemy Master Yi was fat, that the enemy mid laner was fat, the top was in lane better than me, we won. Uh, not always will you have such such kind of um, how should I say it such kind of games where you use um, your snowball against like the enemy teams are getting kills. But you still managed to win. Yeah. As we are going to the next game, I'm going to tell you about mistakes that I made last game. So, first and foremost, I got killed on the second gank from E. Now, I knew that after first gank, E was probably somewhere top lane. But... that's what I say, like... I still wanted farm. I got punished for that. I also need to keep... needed to keep in mind uh, that... Set's primary damage ability is his W. That no matter what, if a fight has started and it's a fight like 1v1, this gigantic shield that he gets from his W is enormous enough, it was enormous enough to soak up my ultimate damage, 5 stack ultimate damage, basically went into his shield. That shield is really something that a melee champ, uh, I don't think he can really play around it. Because it's not like he is building his meter, like he builds his... He built his, his full meter before the fight starts. No, as soon as the fight starts, it's like one or two seconds, and his bar is full, and he immediately has the shield when he presses his W. That's a thing that you have to keep in mind when laning against Set. Also, you have to keep in mind the jungler that might, that might or he may not come top at all. This is also like the strat. Another strat is even though you you are from behind, you still try to accumulate accumulate gold to buy items. Like there is, you can saw I 
had poor farm, uh, had poor stats. During some team fight, I still managed, especially in one team fight, I managed to snitch a, a triple kill uh, with my ult, basically. And since the targets were with bounties, and since uh, I was so behind his HP, his AD or AP, I think it scales with. I might have to check wiki for that because I do not uh, know like the exact information. I believe it has nothing to deal with AP. He has no AP ratios. It's either AD or HP or its base base value values are just ridiculously high. The perfect way to balance him right now is to first of all he he has he has this problem once his meter his meter unlike everyone else's meters uh it decays really fast like once one second you have your full meter and then boom it, it's gone they have to make so that meter does not decay too fast up his damage a bit Maybe his scales uh, lower his shield amount substantially because this is um, this is like a Sterex shield that is uh, that is just in his kit. That's really like really rough. Uh, that's probably Xin top because he was uh, changing Garen, Darius, Camille, and now Xin. Probably Xin top. I haven't played Xin top. I got no no idea. But basically, yeah. Uh, to balance that, you just need to tweak some tweak some numbers. You don't. If you're gonna just leave the shield the way it is and just ramp up his damage and another broken champ will be born basically. But uh, Ryan games with 200 uh, years of uh, experience in uh, game development, uh, they, um, they know better than me, so who am I to judge, basically. But yeah, it's it's probably set top. Set top again. And because it's set top. We're gonna bust. Bust in. Nar. Do not need shield bash. We need overgrowth? No. We need this. And we need conditioning. And here we do this. And we're good to go. Now let's hope that it's actually set top and not Xin top. Because Xin can. Yes, it's set top. So the only thing that we will need to watch out for first watch out for this yep are the jungle gangs Set has a very big problem against range champs he has absolutely no reliable tools into melee versus range his like his movements are predictable yeah the thing that he will gonna do he will gonna run at you and try to pull you with his uh, e ability and his e ability is not the greatest pull ever Now as an R, I believe uh, the items that I will be building are Black Cleaver, 
uh, frozen mallet. I could have gone just glacial augment and completely destroy him with slows. But I will not. And also I will be paying... A lot of attention towards not overextending. Because I haven't played NAR in a while. And I want to see, show you how range into melee with no ability to fight against you works. Now on ganks, I might be vulnerable. I might be vulnerable when I'm going to be in Mega Nar form. So once I'm going to get in Mega Nar, I will probably just gonna back away and farm from distance. In Minionar, again, farm from distance and hit him. Yeah, let me pick a boomerang. And with my boomerang slow, and with uh, fleet footwork, again, another great rune for just... You throw something, you heal a bit, and then you run away, because you have a movement speed burst. Also, I want to ask Twitch chat, uh, have you seen the designs for upcoming Fiddlesticks and uh, Volibear reworks? What do, you think, what do you think about them? Do you like them? So he pushed lane. Which is actually kind of good. It's gonna be safe. He's going to get an early level 2. Okay, let me do this. We are almost at Mega Nar form, and we have 2 CS advantage on top of this guy. Yeah, so it's more like he doesn't want to fight me, and I don't want to fight him because I'm not really... That's basically first time in a long time that I played NAR. I can mean I'm gonna scale. And I'm gonna utilize the fact that I scale pretty bad, uh, pretty good. And it's hard for him to hit his ability and look, he, he, he got me there, but what? Oh, and uh, also keep in mind your super long cooldown on your E. Yeah, we are starting to maintain a CS lead. Which is a very good thing. I do not know, like... Was a boomerang that I needed to level up or my W? It, it's certainly not the E that I supposed to level up. Yeah, 
Yeah, he went to base, basically. He went to base on... Not a... Uh, Well, he will be coming back to lane without uh, his uh, TP usage. Yeah, it's a good thing to know. I'm gonna buy Phage. Yeah. Actually, I'm just gonna... Because he start setting up a freeze. That I should really avoid. Yeah, unfortunately I cannot, like, even if I use my stun. Alright. Let's pick up this minion and let's go back. This wave is slowly pushing into my favor. Oh, okay. He decides to lose CS and experience just to stop my backs. And it's not like I'm losing a lot. I'm gonna wait a little bit. To buy boots, because with boots and phage, I'm going to do a wonderful job of and I'm gonna wait. There is no reason for me to like push. I'm not the greatest split pusher. An ally has been slain. And not the greatest farmer also. Let's place a ward here. And let's also look for a scuttler. Scuttler is not here. Okay. Slow and steady lane. So as you can see, he cannot really gap close into me because his movement speed buff will just gonna... We're just gonna not care about it. We are almost at Meganar again. We hit him with that, and let's start... Oh, I see Xin. Long time no see. Well... It does look to me that we are not having a mid laner this game, neither in terms of farm nor in terms of CS, nor in terms of kills. Yes, and... Is he really, like, zoning me or stuff? 
Yeah, he is trying to zoom in CS because two people are missing and they are on Herald. I probably also could have picked like Senna. And I probably also am getting destroyed here. Which is unfortunate. In Herald top. I'm losing my first tower here. Just for that one mistake, probably all like, yeah, shouldn't have done it. Because now my elite is actually kind of gone. But yeah, my items will be Black Cleaver and Frozen Mallet. At least we got Dragon. As you can see, this stun was really long. An ally has been slain. An enemy is unstoppable. Yeah, it seems like this game is going to be also one of those get wrecked sort of games. Yeah, his shield is... really something. Yeah, my stun, I was talking about my stun. I just chain control him. Well, it's, it doesn't matter that we were going to lose this. We are probably going to lose this. Uh, I just want to show you that Nar is actually kind of good. Wow. Yeah. Whatever. There are a lot of mistakes that I've done this game. Okay, maybe we'll do a quick 15 minute surrender.
Yeah, I've used my E a bunch of times so randomly. GG. I'm not gonna be talking about other players' mistakes, mostly due to the fact that uh, it's pointless. I'm not teaching about how enemy team, how teammates should play. I'm more teaching myself and you how we should play. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter that much. Let's check our... Match history, I want to see just how... Where can I see, like, my... Games play out. It shows. Yeah. It shows weirdly. Doesn't give like full perspective because I played more games than that. Do, 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 do. We are once again top, and thank God not for speaking. Uh, one thing, if you want to play as a range champ top, or champs with auto attacks, your micro micro management of and. Uh, Attack, move, attack uh, should be you should practice on them because it's basically what will help you to juggle your opponent like back and forth. Like he will be having tough time if you know how to do this sort of thing. Yeah, well, basically you have to, if you are good at like, you you come, you attack him and then you like move, like do this mini steps. It's, it's a lot of practice that is involved in that. And it's differently if you play like, uh, also, this tactic helps uh, mages quite a bit if you pick like mage top to move back and forth. Okay, so. I don't know if this is a Malphite game. This is a Malphite game just because we have probably gonna have Yasuo. Let me do this real quick. Let's put some masteries. Mana full band as always. Hmm. Let's do transcend and scourge. Since it's Renekton. A bone plating. Probably demolish and we switch quickly. This. Yeah. Should be good to go. 
it's another one of those types of lanes where let me yes another one of those types of lanes where you do not go for all in you ain't gonna win it you poke him and you farm well you can win if you're gonna go full tank that is then you can win but it's strange like i i still need to try Like, people that pick, like, Malphite, yes, they do comment, but they do not go with, say, P, they go still tank. And still max in Q. Yay, we have triple. We are more like mecha team. We have four robots and stuff. I'm gonna probably go Doran Ring and Double Pots. They're pinging that enemy Nautilus have has 2.6 million points. That's a lot. Yep. I haven't looked at the mastery score. This might be like mm, Nautilus main. Why do you try to like, contest it? We have no proper CC. Yeah. He will start lane with less HP and... Oh well. Let me put a ward here real quick. He started Doran Blade. And I believe he has uh, probably Bone Plating. Yeah, he's pushing. Both miss CS. He got his empowered Q. He's going to get his level two here, and probably yeah. He, he you have to watch out with Rennington. It's like this amount of rage bar is basically two empowered, two empowered uh, skills that will do a lot of damage. But since we safely backed away, we didn't got beaten by his combo, and he's missing. Don't tell me that he went for a gank. No, he probably went for deep warding. Yeah, I need level 3 here. I'm gonna just queue this minion. Yep. And do this. I might just have to queue this cannon as well. It's not a big deal. Yep. So as you can see, I'm farming... As you can 
see, I believe. Whoa. Now this. This was actually this was actually expected. An ally has been slain. This was actually expected. He saw him there. Like he really did. Oh yeah, and don't really pay attention to this chat nonsense. Yeah, now we are going to go back. Or not. Quite a lot of action going on there. We are going to buy... Actually, no. We are going to buy this. We are going not to TP there, but we are going to walk. Now he has Tiamat. Advantage. He's just pushing this wave in. Good. He's going to be building... Yeah, I'm gonna save my ATP for better time. And as you can see, we are harassing him quite good. And he wastes his ult, which is really good. It's like... And he wastes his W. Boy, does his ult last long. I could have killed him there, but I decided to play it safe, because I wasn't that sure. And that's where we will use our TP, basically. As he went back, we will go into a little back. We, with our team, we need to just wait for the team fighting. Also, this Rennington is building, like full uh, AD sort of build. And I'm totally okay with that. Is the more AD he builds. I'm not interested in like fighting him there, but I'm interested in taking this plant. So as you can see, he's here. He he's. But what? He doesn't do really much. 
except out farming me, kind of. And for that purpose, we need to start pushing. An enemy has been slain. Okay, so he is getting hurt. I believe he will going to go for all in. Yep. No problem. No problem at all. And now is the place where we can try to outplay him. It's a one for one. It could have been better for me to just E him and then Q him and run away. The situation we are just going to go for Tabby. And another armor. His next item is probably either he will go towards Phage or Lethality. My bet is Lethality. We are going to ping that he is missing. No, it's Phage. It's Phage and uh, probably a part of Sterex Gauge. Since I'm being the one who goes for tank approach. I can set up a freeze. And that's actually quite good. His approach will be to just... Go in and try to do something from there. And we have fed Yasuo, and with me, keep in mind that my ult is a perfect setup for Yasuo. Team fighting should be in our pocket. We just have to coordinate the stuff that we are going to be doing. Let's immediately do this. And I wonder, is there a plant? Because I do not want to go back just yet. Rengar is still missing. Not Rengar. Enemy meat. Yeah. Dominating. He's slowly pushing. But I'm fine with it. It's not like if I'm gonna lose a tower, it's an instant uh, GG. Sort of. Oh, how it goes. And once again, since he has this Tiamat and stuff, he's going to be. More of a on the offense sort of guy. You are not gonna freeze waves.
Once again, like... I may not have the greatest farm in the world. So the turret plating had fallen. And we do this. And let me buy another one. Yay. We basically just ran ran them down. We didn't lose anyone. This is really good. Like, really good. The thing that I'm buying is going to be this, since I cannot afford it. Yes, yes see, see, that's a good thing. Like, we have a decent support, decent, like, bot lane. We have a fed. Yasuo and we have me and Gregus old and his E. We have so much uh, skills that can set up Yasuo's uh, ultis, but we will lose Dragon, unfortunately. No, they didn't start it. So this guy is one level above me. But I'm currently accumulating armor. Yeah, as you see, this lane is... Okay, Rengar got uh, his health. Which means they can make a play, set up a gank, or something like that. There's also the thing that Ren uh, Renick is missing. As in terms of item, like I'm building parts. Parts of items. They should back away. They really should back away. I'm really... I really should have just... came in and helped them. And now I have to go bot to prevent disaster. can't really do much. I was actually dumb to just... I said the drakes were important and... Yeah, that's a mistake. We can almost afford ourselves a frozen heart. Which is a good deal. Let's level up E, buy frozen heart, and start working towards on fire. Yeah, I should have either take took tower or... no, I should have just... I should have roamed towards Drake faster. 
Because I literally just gave... I gave this... Renekton time to just go there on his foot from top. It was not a TP. Yeah, he's building full AD and lethality. Let me check our above something. Yeah, there he is. Wow. Popped his ulti just to take a red buff. What delightful sort of person he is. I'm going to go there. Just because. Yeah, we should should back away. There's a Baron on the map. You know, it's such huge objective. It can be a huge... Okay, okay. I got you. I got you, Lucian. They they are doing Baron. Wow, they are doing Baron. They are nuts. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, my idea there was to basically at least somehow damage uh, Rengar up to the point where. Yeah, it was their only chance. Pretty much. Also, another cool thing about what they did to Malphite, well, cool thing. It's not something new, but uh, basically... Depending on how much armor you buy, Malphite gets bigger. It's the same stuff with Zack, who gets HP. You see, I'm starting to get huge. <laughs> wow. Kitty scratch, literally. Literally just a kitty scratch. Yeah, Rengar is somewhere there. This is probably Rennington being. Yay! And you cannot do anything against this. Well, QSS, but it's such an early stage of the game, pretty much. It's... I don't think she had time for QSS. Let's honor.
Yeah, we're getting three points. Not, not the biggest, not the smallest. Good. Good enough. Remember that the stuff that I said, like at the beginning, uh, that we are not just simply rank grinding. Nope. We are educational first and foremost. Grinding is grinding. Whatever, like. Grinding. Rank, ranks will come. If you learn how to play, yes, yes, like uh, there are a lot of occasions when you lose because of your team, because not not proper like pigs, because the enemy have better champs. Yes, in league, this is an issue, but. Uh, doesn't matter, you still have to just improve yourself. Ah, uh, he can, he can. But it's not his job. He most certainly can stop uh, Renekton from pushing. And that's for sure. And uh, Renekton falls off late game really hard. Especially without uh, Spear of Shojin. Yeah, we've been Fiora, and unfortunately we are top lane first pick. Which is a really big no-no. For me, because... For me in general. I still don't know why people ban Garen. If someone would have asked me about like broken champs uh, or hard to deal with champs, Garen is not there at all. No. Okay. By my will, this shall be finished. Now this was really not the pick that I meant to, but I didn't pay attention towards the fact that they have. Yeah, it was. Uh, I was thinking about going Vladimir since we are going to be having. Um, since we are going to be having AD mid. Wait. Is this the same Gregus? Hmm. I'm thinking, oh, oh, I certainly least in jungle, chug at top. Yeah, it's either grasp that I can go on Jarvan. Yeah, let's do this. 
second wind. Vitalize. Biscuit and this. Yep. Jarvan. Uh, no, he doesn't perform like he did. Until they bump nerfed his W, his E. Basically, they bump nerfed him. And me picking Jaron. Well, they thought they they thought he was overpowered. They thought that he is he was a strong pig because he had a lot of attack speed and damage, and also he performed good in Django. Well. If you ask me, I'm like on some champs I don't even I don't even know why, and I can't even say why. Like uh, same thing, I cannot explain. Like why is Garen S tier champion? Okay. I think we will just go with this. There is a lot of thing, things that I cannot explain about in, in, in League. Wow, they are invading. this grass match up I probably will just gonna I pick grasp I will be more of a tank here by the way okay so we can put a ward Yeah, we'll be farming with occasionally hitting him with auto attack to proc my. We shall rest when we are dead. With my auto attacks, it's not like I'm gonna do some flashy place. Stand with me, brother and sister. At least I'm I can farm. That's good. Find me greater foes. At least Jarvan is not bad at last hitting. And he brings this wave in. Hmm. Let me just proc my grass procs. Top is missing. Well, in terms of items, I probably will gonna go for just you know your your standard sort of items. 
Oh boy, that is doing work. Yeah, and I'm just gonna back. That with an early first blood is actually quite quite a promising thing. Okay, let's go for Phage. Might have gone for Tiamat. Yeah, I'm gonna go Cleaver, Sterex, um, probably Tiamat also. I think they are going for Gregus. Yeah, I kind of failed my EQ, EQW, did E, E, W them. That is getting fat. This is really good. I'm not going on the aggressive side or something like this, just because I want to play one safe game with basically fail pick. Well, not fail. Actually, if I would have picked Camille, I would have been destroyed by this uh, Chagat. I don't know why, but it's just the way it is. Yay, I even got a cannon. I have to keep in mind he's level 6 soon enough. An enemy has been slain. And I have to go find myself a plant. Yep, there it is. He will just push it because he thinks that I'm going back. And I'm not. As you can see, not a lot of damage I am doing to him. Well, what do you expect from a Jarwin that got nerfed to Oblivion? He was also nerfed because people were picking him mid and just going again full yellow one shot Jarwin full lethality. Kill or be killed, so a sort of playstyle. All right, no flash. Getting a flash out of him is also good.
Yeah, see, I think it's kind of good. Okay, he wasted his ulti. He doesn't have ulti, which means he will probably not gonna one-shot me. Let me hold that real quick. Yeah, that's good. So far, so good. Oh wow. I ran out of mana. Aim. Hmm. Yeah, I had no mana, and also he knew that I was there. Probably they warded it. Oh, let me grab Tiamat just for wave clear. And a ward is also important. Uh, general dip is that uh, almost every back that you go back to base, grab yourself a ward. A ward can keep you safe. Uh, War the day keeps. How should I? How should I phrase it so that it sounds like an apple a day? A war the day. A war the back. Whatever. Basically, by by words. Also got my boots. Stand with me, brothers and sisters. Okay, what is this? Hmm, this is actually... A word today, a word to back keeps a jungler away. Nah. Let's not gank him, like, what's what's the point of ganking this guy? Especially with Ocean Drake up. It's not like... It just went there. This is going to be like... We, we, I don't know that we should go there. Just get a tower. Okay. Flag snipe. Kind of great, actually. Okay. Oh boy. Now I wasted quite some time here. 
And this guy's working on my tower. Let's get Black Cleaver. Let's get Ward. St uh, sticking to my words that I've said about Ward. Sticking to my words that I say it about words. Wow. Next item will be Sterex, because why not? Okay, I'm going to do good damage against him. But my mana runs out so quickly, it's actually... Yeah, well, I myself personally not profiting from uh, from leveling key, and it seems like we do not have any auto attackers, so they cannot get anything from that attack speed that that it gives. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. But boy oh boy does German's mana deplete so fast. And they say that Gangplank's mana is... They should uh, reduce mana costs. But what about Jarwin? Look at him. And barely even spam abilities. I'm still going top, probably. But yeah, as a Jarvan, you do, you can do those uh, flashy combos. You probably seen this EQ and those flash combos and stuff like this. He works better in jungle. He worked. Nowadays, I don't think that you'll see Jarvan anywhere. It's just I picked him for whatever reason. Also, when you are like hitting this, you can drop your E. You can drop it uh, like behind you in case you, when you will get ganked. You can use it as an escape mechanism. I missed a cannon. But yeah. I'm not playing this assassination kind of guy. I'm just playing or safer pick. And because I'm building like HP and uh, damage, I'm also going to be useful for team fights. I pro yeah, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy this and I'm going to buy Ward and change Trinket to the red one. Usually a top laner and jungler has red trinkets. Unless it's Lee and he needs a yellow one. Protect the faithful. Our top tower is going to fall down. But the drake is on the table, and it's a mountain drake, which means free resistances. Let's push this wave real quick, and let's go help our team. I'm helping. Oh, 
Okay. I actually should have just done EQ flash. But once again, I'm not uh, used to playing Jarvan. That's why... Not much for Playmaker. But still helping your team. What's the, dis the difference with uh, EQ Flash? It's like Camille. You are traveling, basically you do EQ and in animation while you are sliding you can do flash to surprise knock up uh, your opponents. And that's a bit better than just um, your standard uh, like uh, flash uh, EQ. Okay, as you can see, Vygar is not doing that much for damage. But we still will not going to overextend. Let's destroy enemy ward. Let's corner this guy. Yay, we managed to kill the beast. But we have no minions here. Yay, they they are so desperate to get kills that they are doing making mistakes. I'm going to uh, go back cuz I need to regen. And I probably will not going to sell ward or will. I will. Rampage. Let me get this. Shut down. Our team is chasing kills. Which once again, remember what I said about chasing kills? Like not too often is it really... Not too often it is uh, advised to do so. Rather than that, you should just focus on objective controls. And also, we win and win with Baron. Don't just sit and uh, farm jungle. It will be a complete waste. I'm a push top. Now and forever. To provide some extra pressure. Miss another cannon? Wow. I don't know where everyone is. I see a Chogat. And I know that Lee Sin was somewhere top lane. Our objective, prim primary objective right now is Baron. Which means that we should try to secure it. And first secure area, kill Chogat. Because with Chogat you have to be aware not only of jungler, with smite, but also you have to be like aware of uh, Chogat who can uh, use his ultimate to steal your Baron. It's a very unfortunate thing that we are getting zoned so hard. Not zoned, but uh, but we have a Soraka.
Let's ping that third dragon is on the map. Yeah, I'm quite tanky. It's sur surprisingly enough. Yay! Let's push a wave here. So that it's slowly going to be pushing towards enemy base. And then we're going to back away and use TP to one of our minions. And our next item is uh, going to be... we are going to try and finish uh, Ravenous Hydra. Wow, we have 666 on Grasp. Kinda interesting. Once again, we have to use uh, Baron up minions, Baron buffed minions, and to pressure the enemy team. Because farming with Baron is not good. Okay. So Vygar has no R. Oh, I'm getting hit a lot by Tristana. Thank God that we have a Soraka who can kill. And let's protect this uh, cannon. As you can see, Baron top, uh, Baron buffed cannons. Well, from my side, uh, there was no lag. I hope so. Because I don't see any. Maybe, maybe. Well, we'll check. Hmm. Let's go back. Let's not overextend. No, we need to go back. We do not have a Baron buff and uh, we do not have minions. Should I just go Titanic? No, I want Ravenous. I have to stop this Shogat. He's pushing. And I, I probably cannot kill him. But I don't even have to do it. I just have to build up a minion wave and push bot so the three, uh, three lanes will be pushed at the same time. And it's a good thing, like even though that you have no Baron, but you also have to keep in mind for things like that that are happening. Okay. Come back here. Don't just hit me and run away. It's your problem. 
think that this is... Yeah, this is GG, most likely. They just... Yeah. Okay, we jumped on each other. And I won. And it's GG. So far so good, even with the pick that I have very have small experience with. But it still worked out better than Camille against Chogat. Let's honor that. Let's see, one more game? Yep, why not? At least we are starting to win a little bit more than we lose. Just a little bit, just a little bit more. I also don't know about this, like trying to reconnect to chat. Seems like they fix it, but in my game they didn't fix it. Oh, in the previous game, like, overall the laning phase went kinda good. Maybe it could have gone better should I have known what I was doing. But that was like pretty much random pick that I've picked top lane. I was thinking about Vlad, didn't pay attention that he was banned. Picked at least something remotely resembling a top laner. And it worked out. And since I was building him in the way that I had HP and some damage and armor reduction, I was not that useless. I was actually doing stuff. Okay, or a ban once more. The thing that I have to like mention is that uh, it doesn't matter, like even with like your main pick, you're gonna have some counter picks, uh, champs that you would like to ban because you are not feeling comfortable against, but you have one pick and. It's not that like, say for example, you picked Garen and enemy top laner can counter you with st straight out several picks. Darius, uh, Gangplank, then also Vayne, Quinn, also, AP crits have same numbers as AD crits. AP, I believe they do not crit, but they have this sort of animation that looks like a crit. I believe there is no AP crit. So Rice has when he throws his like abilities. One of them looks uh, like when numbers pop up it looks like it it's a crit but is it a crit or is it not oh 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 boy this is an r
Yeah, let's do something like this. We are reborn. Let's do something like this. We'll see how it will how it will be. Yeah, I have Yorick. My experience uh, with um, Yorick ended up in me for first time experience in my game with Yorick ended up with me feeding against Darius. After that, I haven't played Yurik. They have quite strong team. Yeah, because generally when you pick like a champion that you are not familiar with or something like that, you would have to go You'd like to go towards mm, normal games, flex games, play a couple of games there. The earth is beneath me. Mm. Now, about Pantheon, about his passive. So, after five spells or attacks, Pantheon's next basic spell is empowered, meaning that Q will always be a crit. Inst instant Q will always be a crit. Uh, w, after you land a stun with... When you have stacks, you will deal three attacks after the stun. And E, your spear attacks will be prolonged. Basically, his his E will be longer in the duration, and it will deal a bit more damage. So it's one second longer, and so on. Here with Pantheon, what you want to do is like this. Well, I I still got a minion, though. Yeah, we are level two. I think he's aware of my game plan, basically. No, you cannot. Now you have to be kind of strategically using your Q. Okay, so he is in his Meganar form. I'm gonna miss that minion, but I'm definitely not missing that minion. I didn't level up my Q. Oh god. I mean my W. I was thinking about going on him because he went out of his um, form, and then I had no nothing to jump on him with. First, 
So yeah, my general tactic is to farm. I should have gone for like early... You know, engage or something like that. I should have. So again, he's almost at his Meganar form. After which he will, pro after using it, he most probably will going to go for his base. Okay, I'm gonna wait for Jarvan, and we can try to kill Nar, especially because his mega form is now... So I don't know why like I get that he wants to like push or something. Yeah. Shaco is spam camping a lot. Okay, let's do this. And I also probably should have picked Ignite. Well, that's a good thing. I'm building uh, primarily, I think that I will build lethality on him. Because they have a lot of squishy targets. I'm gonna ping that Nar is missing. He went back, that's for sure. And for sure is also the fact that he has a CS advantage on me. I would have liked to set up a gank here. Yeah. That's unfortunate, she still got a kill. Alright. Yet another longsword, yet another ward, and move towards top. They might do dragon, actually. Why does he build a CS lead on me? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be farming now. Okay, that was actually predictable from his side. I will go on him. Wait a second, wait a second. 
I am getting ganked. Uh, Shaco can heal me with Dark Harvest. Uh, Shaco is still... He's still there. Otherwise, this guy wouldn't have... Okay, yeah, Shaco is still top, and they are probably... Yeah, they will spawn Herald top. Yeah, they are. I smell Shaco. Now I use my TP, which means Nar will going to participate in a fight in bot lane. Once again missing minions, missing cannons. No, he is not. He's going to be... Yeah, that was bad. I should have just left my E for when he is in Meganar form. Such a rookie mistakes. gonna have to use my own top probably or actually no my tower is going to fall first okay still continue to miss a lot of CS And I have to take down this ward. Yeah, he's going already towards Frozen Mallet. I'm gonna lose a tower here, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm gonna be losing the first tower here. Because I want... I want an opportunity where I can actually farm. Yeah. 
Having a rough time in terms of uh, CSing. Keep missing a lot. Okay, that's actually quite good. And that's not good. And that's good. Uh, Jin and Velkas probably are going... Yeah, um, I see Shaco. Yeah, Shaco topside. Probably waiting for another Rift Herald. Let's buy this, and let's buy another of this, and let's buy Ward. That to be useful. So, lethality is kind of important here. As we are Pantheon, our job is to do damage and die. Let's use our spears for long-range CSing. And once again, they are... Hmm, I cannot leave this lane. Lethality is basically your, oh, how should I say it? It's like an armor pen. It deals more kind of, it negates uh, armor basically. It says that it negates, currently negates 18 armor. I will be rotating towards uh, Dragon right now. Okay, let's see. A, P, P, D. Let's buy this. Yeah, just take. Take dragon. Come on. Shaco is somewhere nearby. Yeah, he's here. Yay! So as far as I can see... Not having like wow that greed I want our AD carry to have farm rather than me like I got a bunch of kill I got the shutdown on Jin which is worth 800 gold so I want other to 
other people to also get benefits. Because me alone, I won't be carrying this. But with bringing back to the game AD carry and Rai is getting towards his items. Like, yeah, he has two items. The thing that I will. Oh, we have to back. Have to back. Oh, I mean, we probably could have bought it. Yeah, we didn't get this, but a team fight is probably approaching. I'm searching for an opportunity to just all in them. Yeah, that's actually good. You're not gonna run away. Yay, and our eyes getting getting kills is actually good. This is actually good, this is great. A golden opportunity is basically to get back into the game. Uh, basically, look at this not only from the perspective of... Um, look at this from different perspectives. Um, I don't think that we should have started. No, 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 no. We, we have to save Rice. Yay. Operation save Rice. Yeah, let's do this. Because this will... Worst facts, like worst case scenario, we're going to disengage, hopefully. Uh, worst case scenario, we are... Hmm. I'm gonna ping Dragon because uh, apparently it's kind of more important. Okay, I got this. Uh, let me actually buy... Go uh, towards this item. Yeah. This 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 also can happen. With flash I can just go in on Jin. Jin is my prey and I have to I have to kill him. But we also have to keep... Uh, okay. Okay, that's actually good.
boy, I had shot down on, on my head. I didn't even realize that. Well, you have to also pay attention to value versus um, disadvantages. I might have to buy this. I wanna know where Shaco is. I still will not be able to hit him, but it's this way. And with Edge of the Night, I'm going to be... It's basically... Uh, yeah. Edge of the Night is basically your... AD version of... Um... How is this item called? I completely forgot. There it is, of, of Banshee's Whale. You uh, prepare it, you drop a shield on you that is going to absorb one spell, and you basically go in. If they bleed, I would call them okay. It's not that I wasted too much there. Just a speed boost. They have to realize that Katrina is coming. Oh. I am the tip of the spear. Wow, they will gonna I think they were gonna go for Baron. Yep. Yay! Great! That's really good! I was hesitating there just because... Um, uh, just simply because... Um, how should I say it? Uh, Shaco might have been able to take uh, Baron. That's why I was holding on to W. Hmm, what does this do? This is a new item. Cooldown reduction, AD, lethality. When spotted by an enemy ward, reveal traps and disable wards around you for 8 seconds. Basic attacks, instantly kill, reveal traps, and do triple damage to wards. Uh, kinda neat. Unique item, so to speak. This game is intense. And as you can see, like... Uh, oh wait, Edge of the Night always works now. You do not even need to press it. Now that's... That's actually interesting. Great. Great, great. I'm still doing my job. Sets my wow. Alight. Well, I'm a squishy target, so of course he does damage. No, we do not need to force force three v five five. No. Wow. Yeah, especially items that 
are probably never bought by anyone. Obscure items, basically. I probably want GA now. Yeah, I probably want GA. Wow. This rice. This rice. Good job. Oh, damn. <laughs> Mind I remind you, this rice had a very bad laning phase. So, the fact that he come back is actually quite good. Back here. Come on. I cannot. <laughs> this is. <laughs> uh... I'm full assassin and I cannot assassinate anyone. Why? Also, the thing to keep in mind, Pantheon stacks his passive with uh, auto attacks and his skills. Hmm. Let me push this real quick. And I'm gonna miss another cannon. Why? This is so... So unfortunate. All, it happens all the time, like... Oh, Jin has QSS. Honest, these days in League of Legends, I cannot tell like the outcome of the fight. It's such such a one-shot fiesta. Yeah, we should go towards Baron, and uh, we need to keep in mind that Elder Drake is up. Really should also be careful. We are what we overcome. Wow. I didn't know that Shaco Puppet can also be invisible. We need to reset and go straight towards Elder Drake. Yeah, and with GA I will not... I'm going to be like a squishy. Also, Rice is full build. The only thing that he lacks right now is... Oh boy. Strike 
Now we have to be aware of Shaco. We do not need to allow him to steal this. But I don't believe that he will be... No, he's in base. So, about... Now that we finally kind of get the Elder Drake, let's uh, read what it does. Damaging enemy causes them to burn from 150 damage based on game duration over 3 seconds. Uh, champion below 20% health blessed uh, them with dragon fire. And uh, dealing 100% to their uh, maximum HP. So basically a, a one shot. Meaning that uh, even if you heal, but you got hit beforehand, you're still going to... Uh, we do not need to force, it, force a fight. That's why I'm just gonna... So as you can see, I'm slowly chopping, chopping an enemy in here. And as you can see, this like white bar means that when your HP is there, you die. And it doesn't matter where you stand and it doesn't matter Yep. And let me stylishly end the game with an ulti. Yep. GG's! Let's honor... Let's honor Jaron. Yep. So, ladies and gentlemen, viewers, I hope that you liked today's stream. I uh, really do hope that you had fun and you learned something new. I uh, hope that you will going to come to my next stream. Schedules for streams for League of Legends streams for Grim Dawn streams. You can find them on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Twitch, basically everywhere. We uh, are always keeping in touch with our audience and we always are trying to provide you with the content it's going to be interesting and that's going to be fun for you to watch hope you guys had a great time because i did and i will going to see you next time goodbye